think the Huddha smell is off my boots. Should have kicked in more faces while it lasted. All that time in the swamp? Tell me you don't want to go home. Keep Nemro company. If I get the urge to see the hut, it'll take me back. In the meantime, though, you and me against the galaxy. It's gonna be fun. All blasters and girl talk. You shoot high, I'll shoot low. That's the spirit. Let's get moving. So we're clear. Imperial rations are nasty. And I lived on grubs and two-credit wine for a year. They raise you on those things. No wonder you're a bunch of stiffs. I was raised in the Chiss Ascendancy. We don't do Imperial rations. Yeah, you're blue, but you still got the accent. Here's what I don't get. You got a little brass, you got a little style. You're not totally one of them. But you still play Keeper's pet. Shoot all the right people when you could work for... Huh. Whoever. I get to lie, cheat, and murder legally and for profit. I'll give you that, but you could do better. Me? I'm in long enough to lay low, pick up some cash, sort out some personal stuff you guys can help with, then I'm gone. What sort of personal stuff? Made a deal with your bosses when I came on board. Nothing you need to worry about. Now let's get back to it before the world misses us. Hey, so I've got credits in a couple of free hours. You want to find a cantina, have a few drinks, start a few fights? Are you planning to cause trouble? Or just expecting the worst? Little of both. Figure we can get to know each other. Besides, I need a wingman. All right, Cleo. Lead the way. You're more fun than you look, Agent, but I'm still a better dancer. Keep this up, maybe things will work out after all. You said you wanted to talk. What? Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. No idea what I was gonna say. Been distracted. Thinking about home. I haven't seen Scylla, my people's homeworld, in ages. So you know what it's like. Doesn't matter how things were, it still sticks in your head. Life was miserable on Rat Attack. Backwards people living in caves. Big on tribal blood feuds. Almost got stoned to death when I was 12. That's when I knew I had to get out. You're going to have to explain that. When you say stoned... Rocks. Fist size thrown at me. My dad was from a cursed family. Which is basically tribal propaganda for we want your land. Some great grandfather of mine was a warlord. Conquer a few tribes and you're a cannibal demon of the summit. How did your father and the others handle it? Kept their pride. Hid the loot. Not that I got anything. Or I might have stuck around. I hitched a ride on a spice trafficker ship. Figured the big, civilized galaxy would have a place for me. I thought I was gonna get accepted. I had to get tough. This spice dealer, did he help you do that? Not him. Other friends, mostly. I don't want to bore you. But it's nice talking like this. We should do it again. You smell burnt flesh? That's my fingers. Gun overheated in the last fight. So, all that one-shot kill stuff you do, where'd you learn it? It was part of my training. I can show you exercises if you like. Yeah, I like getting off more than around a minute. I learned to shoot with a friend of mine. First year out of rat attack, I was a mess. Me and Am Spichel hooked up on a tramp freighter. She was running too. We stole a holdout blaster and shared it. Were you in trouble? Not at first, but we got there. She had gang connections, so one time we were raiding the ship's cargo bay, planning to sell whatever we get. Turns out it was an exchange ship, syndicate stuff. We've just pried open the storage crates when we figure it out. We're dead meat, right? With one holdout blaster, the odds weren't in your favor. Best we can figure. I torch the place while Ampsby grabs a dock worker. Then we sit and wait for the exchange. Enforcers finally show. We blame the dock worker and say we came to stop him. Prove her exchange material. They bought it. Risky, but I guess it paid off. Best kind of risk. Amspichel ended up worse off later, but it was great for me. She was fun. We ever run into her, we should get together. Time of the century. Agent, we need to talk. I just heard from headquarters. Keeper finally came through on a promise he made when I joined up. 
Keeper is contacting you instead of me now. Some watcher sent the message. Not really the point. I asked you guys to find Anne Spichel, old friend of mine. I told you about her. We hooked up after I left Rat Attack. Last time I saw her, she saved my life and got me to Hada. I owe her big. Now she's in trouble. You said she saved your life? On Ord Mantel. I messed up and she covered my tracks. She crossed some exchange buddies on Nar Shadda. Report didn't give details, but I can guess how it went down. I'm gonna head over, kill the exchange, and save the girl. You should come with. You want my help? You've got it. Let's go. Good choice. And so you know, we do this right, I've got a surprise plan for us. Gonna like this one. I think that's most of the gang. Hands, get out here. You're rescuing me? What, am I your princess? If you were a princess, <laughs> you might be worth something. Shut up and toss me a gun. Who's your friend? I stole Cleo from Nemro the Hut. We've been together ever since. Nemro, huh? How long were you with him? Long enough. You guys timed it good. By the way, they were gonna hang me to broil on a holocine. You got a way off world? Grab your stuff and meet us at the spaceport. I can get you a ride. Your friend has spirit. Something to admire. She's not very bright, though. Remember I said I had a surprise for you? There's a bounty on Anne's Michelle. We saved her, we own her, now we're gonna sell her. You're serious? You want to give her to a bounty hunter? Look at me. I owed her for saving my life. But you know how she did that? She stuffed me in a box and shipped me to Hutta. I spent 12 weeks in muck working for a chem farmer. She humiliated me. I owe her for that too. I had doubts about this mission from the start. Now I find you've misled me. You don't have to do anything. I'll handle it. And you get half the money. She'll be waiting in the hangar either way. Think about it. Hey, you made it all right. Yeah. Ran into one of Zenjo's guys. Left him a scar, but he's still breathing. So a ride sounds good right now. Give me 20 minutes, I'll set you up. Keep her company. I'll be back soon. I really do appreciate the help, but... Can I ask you something? Ask anything you want. Okay, this'll sound odd, but what did Kaleo say about us? She tell you we've known each other for years? Met after she left her home world? Big, long sob story? You're telling me it's not true? She's a habitual liar. I knew her for six months, and she'd been on her own forever. I don't even know where she's really from. So I have to wonder, is she really here to help? Or am I in even worse trouble? Kaleo plans to sell you to a bounty hunter. I assume she's fetching him now. Then I better get going. I owe you one. So where is she? I've got a bounty hunter waiting. I wasn't going to let you sell her. You let her go? That's not your call. Now she's out there, and she thinks she's better than me. What were you thinking? You bring me out here on a rescue mission. Then you tell me we're sending a woman to bounty hunters. Fine, Agent. Next time, I won't ask. So remember how I was going to sell Anne Spichel to a bounty hunter and you let her go? I hope it was worth it. Finally convinced the buyer we weren't trying to scam him. You and Anne talked talk much when you were together? Swap stories about the old days? Gossip about me? She said you were a habitual liar, and that you'd only met in the past year. Yeah, figure she'd say something like that. She's kind of crazy. Whole thing got me thinking, though. I've had a lot of partners over the years. Her, Namro. Guy named Rawl used to hijack Republic supply ships. He had money, he had brass. 
How do you think you measure up? Hijacking Republic ships is only exciting the first time. I give you variety. Huh. Okay, I guess that explains one. Still, seems weird that with all the nasty, smart, rich people I've been with, I ended up with you. Fate's been kind to us. After all, our association has worked out well. You're trying too hard, Agent. Learn to dig a joke. Hey, Agent. Take a look at this. Where is she? I-I don't know. How would I know? Kaleo Janus and her Twi'lek associate were seen attacking exchange resources on Nar Shaddaa. Should I believe you wouldn't seek revenge? I want her last known location and I want it now! I love it. Listen to that little tremor in his voice. He's adorable. He does say your name with fondness. Ijal and I go way back. As soon as I show my face, he starts torturing people to track me down. He's been obsessed ever since we split up on Farstein. For an arms dealer, he's kind of sweet. Makes me feel wanted. Where did that holovid even come from? Hey, you've got plenty of sources. I've got a few too. And one's close to Ijal. Of course, if he ever found me, I'd have to choose. Do I go back with a bad, nasty man? Or beat him down with someone new? Why go back peacefully when you can fight instead? That's why I like you. I'll keep you in the loop. Next recording gets out, we can watch it together. If you can guess who's been talking to Nemro the Hutt, you owe me a drink. From your tone, I'd say I'm looking at her. Bingo. If you don't have a bottle on you, I'll take my prize in cash. Me and the Crime King were wrapping up some old business, long story. But he lets slip something interesting. Remember Yuzhal, my arms dealer come stalker? He's been touching base with a lot of guys I used to work with, Nemro included. Why would he be talking to Nemro? He just wants information. Here's the problem. Now that Yuzhal's tipped his hand, some of my other ex-partners, the ones with grudges, they figure they need to hit me before Yuzhal does. We're talking people who should have moved on years ago. Guess I left a mark. I want to know who these ex-partners are, and what we can expect. I'm not gonna make a list, but... First example who comes to mind? Card shark named Ta Teagle. Not a lot of guts, but he was rich and cute. We lived the high life until I broke his heart. Bet he'll hire some sleaze bag to find me. Ta Teagle. Card shark. Any other names? Told you about your jaw, Roll. Nemro and I are good. I'll let you know if anything else turns up. We might actually have to do something about this. All right, we've got a problem. I told you about my ex-partners, how they decided to come after me. Well, that's fine. I can deal with that. What's not fine is when random freaking bounty hunters come after me because they smell a trend. Who's coming after you, Kalia? Guys called The Menace. Never worked with him, never dated him, never heard of him. He's tracking me down. Apparently got a rep as a duelist. Probably wants to auction me to anyone with a grudge. This has gone far enough. We hunt him down and send a message. I like it when you talk that way. I'll let you know when I have a plan. You and me, we're gonna get these people. So here's the deal. I've been working through the list of guys and gals who might come after me. Ex-partners, hookups, the usual. I think I know everyone who's a problem. We hit them first, we clean house, I'm home free. Ready to go? I assume you put together a strategy. Gotta keep busy somehow while you're lining up sniper shots. There's four targets. Roll my pirate, Yuzhal the arms dealer, Ta Teagle the card shark, and that bounty hunter who's following along. I've got locations, so all we need to do is show up and start shooting. That'll work. Let's get started, shall we? Flip a coin, see we blast first. Hey, Rawl. How's the arm? How do you break a Wookiee's arm? Come on, look tough. I wanted a bigger cut. You said no. We raided ships for a living. What did you think would happen? Forget that. Anyway, 
I've got a friend this time. Wait till you see her work. I wasn't expecting a pirate to be so sentimental. Oh, don't get him started. <laughs> Where my arms dealer buddy hangs out. Follow my lead. Hey, Flunky, where's your jaw? I'll let him know you're here. Kaleo Jana says I live and breathe. I didn't expect to find you at my shop. No one else has got what you've got. So very true. Tell me, have you brought my money so I can quit paying my thugs to harass you? Don't forget your manners. Yajal, this is my new partner. My sympathies to you, stranger. Yajal and I met when he was selling vibro round hard ammo to Eridonian mercs. Spotted each other's markings across the room. We started working together, then it soured. Kaleo decided, after nearly a year of supplying me with product, to play a little shell game. I lost a considerable sum and nearly went to prison. I told you to put trackers on those cannons. I'm a businessman, and I like her, so I'll call off my dogs if she recoups my losses. Otherwise, I can't leave her so pretty. What'll it take for me to end this? You serious? I'll put together an invoice. There. Pay the bill, and I'll never bother your friend again. If you really wanted Cleo dead, you wouldn't be dragging this out. Fair point. But what I want isn't always what I get. Kill them both, please. So this card player just need to get his people off my back. Tell the hut I always appreciate a fan, but I don't need anyone to stake me. Hello, Ta. Look who you found. Kaleo? Kaleo, it's... it's fantastic to see you. Who's your friend? I work with her, and she wanted me here for this. Of course, I... I understand. You want to tell me what you were thinking looking for me? Hiring investigators? Bribing dock managers? I... I, 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 I just wanted to find you. You're messing with my life. A lot of people want me dead, and if you find me, a lot of other people find me too. I didn't think I... I, I wanted you back with me. I want to share the penthouse again, and the money, and... I want you not to leave. Why'd you leave, Kaleo? You're not asking the questions. You listen good, you worm. I'm not going to let you ruin me. So you'll kill me instead, for not giving up on you? Kaleo made her decision. Now you're only hurting her. And yourself. I tried to keep her safe. I I'm sorry. Of course you're sorry. It's why I left you, Ta. You're boring. Let's go. Hope the next target's more interesting. So according to what I got, this is the last place anyone saw our bounty hunter. The menace. Loser wants a piece of me just because everyone else does. We'll show him what it's like to be hunted. You sure your information is good? Pretty sure. Paid good money to a Rodian for it. Doesn't look like anyone's home. That's okay. We can wait. I think we got something. You haven't changed. Do I know you? You should. A 
Fiona Quaret, the woman you left on Elysia, remember? No way. <laughs> You're kidding. I take it you've met the menace after all. She's Senator Quaret's daughter, Rich Brat. I showed her how to live. You seduced me into leaving my father, leaving Coruscant. You got to see new places, hang with Black Sun. Her dad didn't even cut off her accounts. He thought I'd been kidnapped. When you disappeared, I cried for a month. I couldn't go home. But on Alderaan, they taught me how to duel, so I became this. You felt abandoned, so now you've decided to kill your former partner. I won't kill her if she doesn't fight. I'll drag her back to Coruscant for trial. I've got to say, Ona, I didn't think you had it in you. Now you know. Put down your weapons and surrender. I'm taking you, dead or alive. Obsessing about vengeance is pointless. You wanted to prove yourself to Kaleo, and you have. Now let this go. You can always change your mind. Track me down later. Get out of here. That was fantastic. I can't believe she's still alive. Come on. That's the last of the list, so we need to celebrate. Let's go down that list again. Roll, check. Ijal, check. Tatigal, check. The Menace, check. You and me, Agent, we are freaking queens of the galaxy. Four ex-partners. Four planets, all dealt with. Maybe you're right. Forget those losers. Forget intelligence if you want. You and me have got a future. You can share my future. Just make sure you can keep up. Oh, you want some competition? Make a list of your exes. See how fast I go through them. Bet your past is even uglier than mine. Hey, I'm worried your shooting's a little off. All that tech stuff weighing you down. If we ever go blasters only, your kill count won't look good next to mine. I'm going to assume that's your natural good cheer. You assume right. No one hunting me down, no exes mooning over me. Last time I cleaned house, I was playing anarchist on Brental. Feels good to be free again. That's not the first time you've talked about Brental. What did you do there? The whole anarchy freedom destruction thing. Politics and bombs. The naivete of youth. Of course, now I've matured. I need to figure out a plan. I could go after a big score, try something other than spy games. You could come with me. You're not bad company, but I could use a change of pace. Yeah, you and me traveling the galaxy, doing something, getting into trouble. Haven't worked it out past that, but I'll let you know. So, here's what I figure. Every morning you get up, you exercise, you check your gear, you do your thing to prep. You've got flow charts tattooed on your eyelids. Me, I'm lucky when I don't crawl out of bed drooling on the floor. How is it I keep up with you? Am I just that good, or does dirty fighting be training after all? I'd never argue your skills aren't impressive. Admit it. We're a good team. You with the gimmicks, and me with the rough stuff. We're not tripping over each other anymore. Took a while, but you and me? We're a synced-up death machine. Give us a few more years, we'll be taking out star cruisers. You set up the shot, I'll take it, Agent. Hello, Cleo. What's going on? Hey, so I've been thinking. With all the stuff I've told you about my past, we ever talk about the Brental Anarchists? You've mentioned their existence and that you worked with them. No details. Then here's a morsel for you. We were the Revolutionary Edge Brigade. So was probably me and a dozen other guys. We blew up hollow relays, robbed banks, kidnapped politicos and corporate honchos. Did a lot of damage. You never struck me as especially political. Why do you join the Anarchists? Kind of an accident. I started with the local gangs. Someone saw my potential. I wasn't really in it for the philosophy. Even so, there's times I look at who we work for now and... Well, I never thought I'd end up helping a bunch of dictators, you know? Sounds like you believe in what you did after all. Maybe. Maybe not. Thing is, I'm actually pretty content. I've got money, company's decent. Even your squad's growing on me. Hypocrisy is a funny thing. See you around, Agent.
I hope I'm not prying. I overheard a bit of your conversation and couldn't help but wonder. Have you noticed anything unusual about Kaleo's behavior lately? Less griping, more cheer. Other than that, no. Interesting. I hadn't spotted that. However, I've noticed some encoded messages broadcast to and from the ship. Kaleo has access to the relay and I'm trying to assess all possibilities. Let me know if anything happens, or if you find out more about those transmissions. Of course. I always enjoy a puzzle. Look, I'm sorry to dump this on you, but you're gonna need to live without me for a little while. It'll be quick, but I need time off to wrap up some personal things. It's a little sudden, isn't it? What's going on? Nothing big, just some private stuff. And I was worried I'd miss your departure. Kaleo, we've had our differences, but I wanted to wish you the best of luck. I'm sure the Wheezer and his revolutionary Edge Brigade will be delighted to have you back. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm surprised that you would permit this, though. Letting Kaleo see her old anarchist friends must violate any number of Imperial regulations. Clearly, I haven't been filled in. I've traced encoded messages sent from this ship to the leader of the Brental Anarchists. That's... look. It's not what you think. The Weezer got in touch, said he needed help. Didn't say why, but I figure security's cracking down on the cell again. Why didn't you say anything? The Weezer was good to me, so I thought I'd lend a hand. Figured telling you would make trouble, get someone killed. If you don't trust me, come back with me and watch my back. We'll buy him off somehow. He might actually survive that way. All you had to do was ask. Thank you. I'll get in touch with him. One call to set up the meeting. I'll leave you to your work. We're all set. The Weezer will meet us at the Hutta spaceport. Just try to make this go without a fight. I don't need to lose either of you. Remember, we're not here to make trouble. You start something, I get unhappy. Calio, of all the gifts you've sent to me, this is truly the finest. An agent of Imperial Intelligence. How marvelous. I don't understand what you mean. Calio has been selling information to the Revolutionary Edge Brigade ever since she joined the Empire. What are you doing? Imperial security data, spaceport blueprints, the names of powerful people, useful things. But now, she's gone beyond the call of duty. Beyond the call of duty, how? By delivering you, of course. Shut up! This wasn't what we agreed to. Why bother keeping it private when your associate dies anyway? She's more useful dead than alive. Her hands and eyes can get us through biometric security scans. This isn't a harvest job. Then I apologize for misreading our agreement, but this is too promising an opportunity to pass up. Tell me what's going on. Tell me the truth. Damn you, Agent. And damn you, Weezer, for making me do this. <laughs> No mercy. I didn't want to pick a side. So yeah, I sold him a few secrets. He paid better than you do, and it's not like I got you in trouble. Why did you pick a side? 
You promised you'd keep our deal quiet. If you lied to me, you'd be the one dead. But look, you don't need to worry. I didn't talk about the missions. I'm not stupid. He was into bombing spaceports and raiding transports, not espionage and conspiracies. I've dedicated my life to this work. Selling Imperial secrets. It can't continue. Meaning what? You should know by now that I am never going to care about the Empire. Not like you do. Not at all. I'm not asking you to change. But we're partners. We're supposed to rely on each other. If you don't care about the Empire, care about that. I do. I like working with you. I just... You know how it is. I'll try. Guess we'll see how it goes. Blasted. You know what today is? Today is the day I've worked with you longer than any of my exes. Don't tell me you missed your chance to escape. Normally at this point I'd skip out and go con someone new. But you've got me so freaking out of practice it's not worth the bother. So I'll make you a deal. I'll stick with you, you keep me comfortable. I can live with this setup. I can agree to that, Clear. Tell you what, I'll make it easier to live with. I've given up teaching you anything, but we ever get someone new? I'll show them the ancient blood traditions of Rat Attack, and maybe how to down a Rodian Ale without puking. 